BBC London 94.9. John Barnes Library in Islington is one of 130 libraries across London that's been under threat because of cuts to councils. Now a group of volunteers has managed to get an old pub across the road and with help from local businesses and book donations it's going to open its doors to the public today. Nothing in life is free but this bookshop in Islington, North London is set to be an exception. It aims to give away 100,000 books in a project set up by the Kindness Offensive, an organisation that performs both small and large-scale random acts of kindness. But the Kindness Offensive help many more people than just the occasional bookworm. Hi, I'm Robert, uh, founding member of the Kindness Offensive, and um, we're here for our open day today. For the very first time, people are going to get books for free from our shop that we've been preparing for months. Um, this is the this is the best day ever. It's 20 past six here on LBC 97.3. Eric Pickles is here with me, the Communities and Local Government Secretary. He's taking your calls. Go to Robert in Islington. Hello, Robert. Yeah, hi. Uh, I was wondering, Mr Pickles, if you're aware of all the movements that are taking place that are kind of independent of the government. The Kindness Offensive are coming together to bring the community to uh, some wonderful things. We've got over 100,000 books here to actually give away. The library crisis is one that's going right across the country, even up to Scotland and into Wales. Libraries are closing down. And those that are not closing down, like those in Islington, are being hollowed out so that less services are available. So this sort of thing becomes more and more precious as time goes on because the things that are lost in the budget, there's no talk about those things coming back. No one's saying, well, we're going to cut 10% this year, but we're going to add 20% next year. So that 10% has been lost and has created a vacuum that we've stepped into and uh, we're pleased to help people to get access to more books. It's a good thing for us. There's a lot of belief in this world that material items need to be consumed and bought by money and that if you don't have, you're losing out. And what these guys, in my opinion, are doing is they're breaking that belief. They're saying there's another way of doing it. The community absolutely loves this. This is something that's never happened for a lot of people before and they love it. I don't think that something like this dilutes what's being offered by the government. What is happening is the government's budget is actually diluting the real services that people should have. I think it's an absolute shame that something like this isn't just fun and has actually become necessary. But I think even after it ceases to be necessary, people should continue to do things like this because we're giving books away for free and we're encouraging people to think free. That doesn't just mean to get things for free, but it's encouraging people to do things as well without always putting a price tag on it. Do something nice for the sake of doing something nice. Feel that warmth in your heart from doing that nice thing. Try and compare that with something you bought, and I guarantee you that you felt better doing that nice thing. We're trying to encourage people to do that, and what makes me really happy is when someone comes back and says, well, I got a book from you, and I gave it away to somebody, and it made me feel nice. And we're about something here which really matters that a lot of people are not paying that much attention to, and that is the importance of kindness. It is really important. It's what brings our world together, and it's what could actually save us from catastrophe.